Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Prior to Tuesday's special episode of EastEnders, Yolanda Truman was furious that Pastor Clayton had misled Patrick about her reserved demeanor. Unaware that Yolanda had been sexually raped by him, Patrick went to the pastor for guidance on her increasingly aloof behavior in tonight's May 6th episode. Yolanda's reclusive demeanor alarmed Patrick and Denzel, and later Sonia disclosed that she had missed a scheduled doctor's appointment. Once Denise found out that Yolanda wouldn't be present at the food truck launching she'd worked on, she advised Patrick to speak with Pastor Clayton about how to encourage her to share more. After the food van was unveiled, Patrick took the chance to consult with Pastor Clayton in the Vic. The pastor took note of Patrick's worries and used the occasion to sow doubts in his mind regarding Yolanda's safety. I've observed it previously, particularly in elderly women. They may get agitated, disoriented, or say inappropriate things, he remarked, raising the possibility that Yolanda was suffering from early-onset dementia. Yolanda said that the assault had made her feel as though she had lost her independence, while Elaine consoled her upstairs. I don't want to talk about it, but I can think of nothing else, she remarked. Is this my new identity? Is this the damage he has caused me? Yolanda was appalled by the pastor's most recent attempt at deception when Patrick approached her and expressed his worries about her possibly having dementia after getting advice from Alfie. I'm not sick, Patrick, she adamantly stated. I don't have dementia. Nevertheless, Yolanda found it difficult to respond when Patrick pressed her for the cause of her altered behavior. In the two-hander episode tomorrow, will Yolanda be able to let her guard down? Spoilers for EastEnders ahead. Details about the upcoming special episode of EastEnders, which features Yolanda and Patrick Truman for the entire runtime, have been hinted at by star Angela Winter. The BBC revealed that the entire episode airing on Tuesday, May 7th, will center on the couple as they work through their feelings in the wake of Yolanda's horrifying sexual assault at the hands of Pastor Clayton. After making a comeback to the soap opera last year, Winter discussed the possibility of hosting a two-hander episode, outlining the creative choice, as well as how the events will impact the main coupling. After all that had occurred in Yolanda's story up to that point, she remarked, it felt like the right thing. To untangle the threads, figure out what happened to Yolanda, and get Patrick's reaction, we needed an entire episode. Yolanda and Patrick's relationship was unable to progress until that point. I'm happy that they chose to narrate the narrative in this manner. I'm appreciative that EastEnders gave me the chance to perform a two-hander episode, and I thank them for that. Yolanda has been through a great deal of anguish hiding this from Patrick, and it shows in the way she handles him. Patrick believes Yolanda is rejecting him because he doesn't know what's happened, but that isn't the case at all. Yolanda's emotions are all over the place. She can't tell him because she feels embarrassed, which makes her angry, and she acts inappropriately toward Patrick as a result. Yolanda is devastated because she thinks that if Patrick finds out, he would reject her, and she won't be able to handle the hurt. In addition, Winter discussed the worry that her character is experiencing as a result of the development, indicating that Yolanda will be afraid for Patrick. She said, Yolanda doesn't want Patrick to get into a fight with Pastor Clayton because she doesn't want him to get hurt physically. She has experienced his rage and is aware of his terrible nature. Patrick is an elderly gunner, and although he is no match physically, he will go in there believing he can beat the man. Yolanda aspires to live a lifetime with Patrick since she loves him so much. Without a doubt, if something were to happen to him, it would be the end of her world. Spoilers for EastEnders ahead. A fresh glimpse at Yolanda and Patrick's special episode of EastEnders has been revealed. On Tuesday, May 7th, the BBC One soap opera will include a special two-hander with cast members Angela Winter and Rudolf Walker. The episode will center on the aftermath of Yolanda's sexual assault at the hands of Pastor Clayton. 
Patrick Truman will at last learn what his wife has been through over the past few weeks in this suspenseful episode. According to the soap opera, Yolanda will have Patrick's consolation and support when she confides in him about the abuse she endured from the pastor. Yolanda has made the decision to file a formal complaint against the pastor with the church rather than calling the police. EastEnders previously deviated from its regular format for this plot by showcasing flashbacks of Pastor Clayton's lengthy history of abusing parishioners prior to its two-hour special episode. Recently, Angela Winter discussed why, in her opinion, Yolanda and Patrick should have their own single-strand episode for this plot. After everything that had happened in Yolanda's story up to this point, it felt like the right thing, the woman remarked. To untangle the threads, figure out what happened to Yolanda, and get Patrick's reaction, we required an entire episode. Yolanda and Patrick's relationship was unable to progress until that point. I'm happy that they chose to narrate the narrative in this manner. I'm appreciative that EastEnders gave me the chance to do a two-hander episode, and I thank them for that. It's incredible how the Ostomit community has helped me. In addition, every other competitor has assisted me in some kind, along with all the pros. Being an Ostomate, being on this show, and being the first person to have a stoma in the show's history is a privilege. Additionally, to figure out when to eat, when to drink, and how to handle my bag when it starts to come off, which it has. I'm delighted to welcome Micah Balfour to the cast of EastEnders as he takes on the role of Junior Knight, said executive producer Chris Clenshaw. The audience is mostly unaware of George's son and the reasons behind their estrangement, despite references to Junior since the Knights arrived in the square. She says she's open to love at all times, content, and single right now. She was also cast in a future season of Channel 4's Celebrity Hunted alongside former Eastender Danielle Harold. I can't wait for it to be released, she says, calling it comic gold. It feels a lot like Chuckle Brother. Nobody is aware of their location. Danielle believed she had spent the entire time in Liverpool. We had spent six hours in the car. The event is in support of Stand Up to Cancer, a cause that is dear to Kimberly's heart because her dad, who had care for Macmillan nurses, passed away. The last time viewers saw him on film was in July 2023, when, much to the astonishment of fans, he made an unexpected appearance in a special edition of Casualty that aired on July 15th and featured Eli tending to the victim of a horrific car accident. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.